Reef DVM is coming at you today with installing in the goat kidding barn some ram stalls and some Seidel gates. Um, as you can see, this is the inside kind of heated portion where we want to do kidding. And what my girls are doing is they're getting foam under the edges here to give us a vapor barrier. Um, they've got the poly there. Eventually, we're going to be graveling and pouring some concrete. Um, we've got a kind of sidewalk we've already framed up. And I'm working on some... Um, automatic waters that we got to dig down into the ground, attach into the water line that's already buried and bring up. What the girls are working on is they're working on the ram stalls. You can buy these kits to put together ram stalls. They can be used for horses, in this case goats. You get a middle strip and you can buy end strips. These are 12 feet long strips. The, or maybe they're eight feet, excuse me. I think they're eight feet long. Um, and then we added the four foot piece from um, one that we cut in half. And then um, there's a middle piece that you can buy from Ram. These things are really easy to install. To prove that, I'm being quite honest, there's, um, there's five of these walls. They have a green treat at the bottom. Then we used um, regular uh, uh, construction grade above that. And these walls were all put together by my 13 year old my 11 year old and my nine year old in the course of one afternoon. And as they put them together, I put them up using the Seidel, Seidel gates. So basically I took the Ram walls, I built them to the height I wanted, which is the same as those gates. I tip them up into place. I screw them into the bottom uh, green board. And then up at the top of the Seidel gates, I um, uh, eight inch leg bolted them right in with big spacks. And I did gates on both sides. So there's a gate up on the sidewalk, if you want to call it side, or the or the human side. And then there's a gate on the exit side, which would be kind of like what we'll call the playpen. So we've got these kidding stalls that are 12 feet long and um, six feet wide. And then they, they can be accessed from our side to get feed and water in. But they also can be left open or moved on the other side to let the goats in and out into a playroom area. One thing nice about the side elk gates, the doors come off. They swing both ways. You can interchange them with a head gate versus a regular door. You can put a creep gate on. All fit the same configuration, which is really, really nice. So if you're working with it, great. Now, I know you're going to notice these aren't blue like the typical Seidel stuff you see at the fairs and stuff. And that's because these are galvanized. Um, I prefer the galvanization, so it worked well with me. So basically, again, you've got a six-foot side L gate here. You've got two ram walls. And then we're digging back down into the ground, because if you remember the video where I showed you we made the barn pad for this, we buried a water line on the inside of this heated side of the barn, and the girls are digging down, finding it. Um, we're attaching into it and coming straight up and going into some stainless steel watering bowls with floats. And we're putting an off switch, as you can see, on the way up. And uh, it's going in absolutely fantastic. I use these unions. Um, I PVC'd it up and then literally turn on the water and we're ready to go. The only thing that I'm going to do a little different that some people may or may not do is I'm not leaving the PVC nor that um, flexible uh, pipe, even though it's rubber with a uh, braided um, metal uh, sheathing over the top. I am not leaving that exposed. Um, I've worked enough in my industry with animals that I can tell you when they're bored, they suck, they chew, and they wreck things. Um, one of my farm hands here, he's digging more holes um, to get down alongside of it. And the reason we're doing that, guys, is because even though these are really good, they've got the metal cap on top, they got the metal on the sides, it's board after board after board stacked up and they're lagged into each end, both down on the green treat and up on the side L gates. I want these things to have some structure in the center, right where the water line is, that I could build a box to protect all that water line and all that hosing, and also to give the wall some rigidity. So I'm putting in um, a rounded end, flat sided post to give me the ability to build my box structure. This box structure can be removed with four legs. If you take off the four legs, the whole entire box comes off and I have complete access to all that water line underneath. I do this 
um, to protect it. Now, I know the goats will stand on those boxes. I know they'll stand on the waters. I get that. Um, I trimmed everything out the best I could, covered up all my foam, and then we're going to obviously put gravel on the flooring of this, and then, of course, eventually we'll, we'll straw it. But this took some time to do. I put some thought into it. As you can see, I've got um, hay um, containers there on each side of the side L. I've got those little red buckets. Those are my quick feed buckets where we like to dump our, our um, creep feeds into and our mom feeds into. Um, this particular stall is not going to be used for actual goats. It's an area where we can do some more washing that had the water in it. You can see now we've got the gravel on the floor in here as we've graveled it up. You can't see the foam anymore. It's nice and level to the best of our ability. And then from there, we'll let that compact down a little. We'll add some more. And then for the goats come in, we'll straw it in the front part of the goat barn. So we're leaving that, that big room where we're going to do all the kidding in the front part um, where we've put things in where the goats can come kind of in and out. We still want an alleyway where we can walk, where we can feed them and get in and out of the barn without them bugging us. And we've got some great big side out gates that we're putting up in the front of the garage door too to protect the garage door. So we can open up the garage door though and let flow and ventilation in. Um, I would have shot this with my video, which I thought I did, but it didn't work. So I just had to show it to you by picture folks, but it went together very nicely. Um, and right now the goat barn is coming to life. I appreciate you watching, folks. Please like and subscribe and support our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos and more progress on our goat barn. Thanks.